guys, something that we're just going to go through here is working your arms. So we're not a massive, massive fan of just programming, say, single arm or just working on biceps, but sometimes you need to do it. It can be a bit of fun, but a lot of you out there are actually making yourselves worse. So we're just going to show you how to do a bad uh, dumbbell curl. So Thomas is going to do, he's going to let his shoulders come in and he's going to come up like this. Yeah, and that's even not that bad. <laughs> we need him leaning back a little bit more. Lean back a little bit more, yeah. That's another one we see. Or he's letting his shoulder blades come in to say hello to each other. Or another problem that a lot of these are doing is that you're just cheating. You're just kind of throwing your lower back into it. We've all seen that in commercial gyms. So the fix is in. This is how FTI program that. First things first, let's make it more functional. Okay, so let's stand on one leg. So now he's working his arms. That weight gets a little bit heavier. We're going to cue him to pull these shoulder blades back. And now let's go up. Good and down. Yeah, it's a much better lift. So we call it in FTI, pardon the language, the shit test. If it looks shit, it's shit. That doesn't look shit. <laughs> so that's pretty good. What we can do also is if he wants to get a bit of upper shoulder work for, maybe you just want to bulk up, inverted commas, face this way, uh, Thomas, put one leg up on the bench. Now we take a bench in, the spinal load is probably halved. So he's in a much better position. So we're going to go curl, press. Good, and that's a good press. What we want to look here, if you're doing this at home, is that we're not excessively bending from here. We're not using lower back to do what the shoulder should be doing. Overhead press is a forgotten art, in my opinion. People aren't doing enough of them. Keep going. And if you want to really add in a tremendous core workout here, what you're going to cue yourself is to do, lean forward there. Now, we're going to just ask him to curl and keep this position. Let's look what, how hard it is for him. Let's go. You feel that working here? Yeah. Burning, yeah? See the way he wants to come back? So we can make that. What does that remind you of? A sprint position. So we're doing arms. You're going to your athletes, so you're ticking the, your you know, box in your brain that you're working your arms, but at the same token, we're getting a little bit of core into it. So that's a great little option if you want to just blow the arms out at the end of a session. Maybe three sets of eight. Pick a weight that you can do. Don't pick a weight that your ego is improving. Pick a weight that your arms will actually feel the effects. Don't overdo them, have a balanced program, but if you want to work your arms, there are a couple of good fixes.